My name is Laura and for the next few weeks I'm going to be travelling around my home country Ireland and I can't wait to bring you along with me. In this week's episode we are going on a four day road trip across County Kerry. The day has finally come and I'm bringing you an amazing guide to County Kerry. I wanted to come to Kerry for the last few months but it's just such a far drive that I wanted to do it right and make sure that I had a good few days to explore the kingdom. So in this video we are going to be exploring arguably the most beautiful place in Ireland and I cannot wait to bring you along with me. Um, at the moment I'm just currently walking up to the Gap of Dunlow. That's going to be our first stop on our Kerry road trip. So this ride behind me is the Wishing Bridge. It took about 20 minutes to get here from Kate Carney's Cottage, which is where I parked my car and it's free parking. And it's really not a bad old walk. It's quite flat, uh, not too strenuous and definitely doable for all fitness levels. But there's a few other ways you can see the Gap of Dunlow. So you can drive, um, but it's not a vice. It's a very, very narrow road. Um, or you can get a pony and track ride, which is really, really popular. Or you can rent a bike, which is really, really fun as well. maybe another 20 minutes just admiring how beautiful it is here because seriously it is insanely beautiful um, and I'm just walking to this bit that's called Kerr Valley Lake I'm not sure if you can actually see the lake it looks like there's kind of like little mounds of in the way but we're gonna see I couldn't actually get over to Cuss Valley Lake, it's on private property, but I am here at, I want to say Anger Lake, and oh my god, it's so beautiful. You can see this like really windy road up behind me. I'll show you a better view in a few minutes. Gap of Dunlow is out of this world. Like I can't describe how beautiful it is here. Um, but the midges have defeated me and I'm gonna start walking back to the car now and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good morning. Um, so anybody who knows me would know that I love to get up early and seize the day when I'm out adventuring. But today was really weird, so I woke up at like maybe half seven and checked the weather. It was so foggy. I was so tired after all the driving yesterday and I went, nah, I'm going back to sleep. So it's 10 o'clock and I'm at my first stop of the day, which is Inch Beach. It's weird because it was really foggy driving here and then it cleared up in this, gore it was this gorgeous, bright, sunny day and now it's foggy again. So I think we're going to be in for a treat with the weather today. Four seasons in the one day, Irish style. Um, but yeah, this beach is beautiful and it's a nice place to just start the morning, go for a stroll, relax, start it nice and easy because we are driving down the Dingle Palencia today. I always say that word wrong. Um, and I can't wait to bring you along and show you all the cool spots. Look how foggy it is there. It's so weird. I don't think I've ever been on a beach with foggy weather like this. It's still beautiful though, look. So the drive to Dingle is supposed to be absolutely beautiful, but I can't see anything because it's just pure fog. It's really, really cool. <laughs> I can't explain it, but I might walk later on if I have time and just check out the views from here because I'd say they are insane. So I made it to Dingle, got myself a little crack because I was getting a bit hungry. The clouds have cleared for the most part, there's still clouds on the mountains and the cliffs, but Dingle is beautiful, it turned out to be a beautiful day. So I'm just heading back 
to the car now but if you're planning to visit Dingle when you're in Kerry just a little bit of advice bring cash because the parking is pay and display and it's cash only and also my crap is only cash so it's a good thing to have around. So I planned to hike up to Damore Head but Unfortunately, I'm literally just in a blanket of fog. This is Irish weather for you. It's like clear one minute, foggy the next. It doesn't look like it's gonna lift. So I'm gonna go to Dunquin. Um, here, it is like a bucket list place for me. So I really hope the weather clears by then. I made it to Dunquin. This has been on my bucket list for literally the longest time and the clouds cleared, the fog's come back in, but it cleared and I'm so happy. Also, this hair is a look, isn't it? So I'm just gonna walk down onto the pier now. Look at this. The spot is seriously just so cool. I think this could be like my favorite spot in Ireland clear the waters and it's definitely worth the walk down I wasn't sure but it opens up a whole new perspective because you're down lower on the cliffs very very cool so the next stop of the day was Connor's Pass which is another thing that has been so high on my bucket list and I'm literally above the clouds this is so cool! So the car park, you can park here, there's a viewing point and then this is the cloud here but I'm actually going to walk up higher and see what the view is like from up there because look at this like. So as of this week I've successfully done the whole Wild Atlantic Way and this is some reward. <laughs> this is like seriously like so cool. I've completed it. Um, every single county and there's going to be so many guides coming your way. Blog posts, Instagram posts, YouTube videos. The whole thing. <laughs> Literally on cloud nine. So the plan was to keep on exploring but I'm actually surrounded by fog and it looks like it's here to stay for the night and I don't think I'm going to see any more. So I'm heading back to Tralee now and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good morning. This is literally one of the most perfect mornings. Like <laughs> I actually can't believe I am at the upper lake at Killarney National Park and I'll wait until I show you what it looks like like this is this is crazy so it's like one of the sunniest days but then as I started driving into the park there was like loads of low-hanging fog and oh, it's just insane look at no I'll just show you I'll turn the camera around and show you the clouds have cleared and it's still so beautiful but it looks so different it's so cool i actually love like i was just driving i wasn't supposed to even come here and i just saw a reflection at the corner of the lake and i was like i need to go in there and see but the midges are defeating me like they're literally everywhere i don't know how i've put up with them for this long i've probably been here about an hour 
but uh, I'm gonna go on to the next stop now. But this is so beautiful, oh my god. <laughs> So I have made it to Ladies View, which is probably like the most iconic part in the park. It's the most talked about place. It's so beautiful, but see that lake there? That's where we were earlier on this morning. So it's kind of cool to see from a different perspective. Pretty damn impressive. There's loads of lakes in the view, but that one there. So you can actually walk a little bit further down. I thought you could just go to the viewpoint. So I'm just heading down now, but this place is class. So I'm now at Mulls Gap, which is where I intended on starting the vlog this morning. But to get here, I had to drive through Killarney National Park and the weather conditions were just too perfect that I just ended up stopping along the way. But the plan for today is to drive around the Ring of Kerry and we're now officially on it. The Ring of Kerry is one of the most popular driving routes in Ireland. It's 179 kilometers long and home to scenic beaches, beautiful views and promise you, you will stop every 10 to 15 minutes on this route. I decided to take a little bit of a detour and head to the Skellig Ring, which is a little bit below the Ring of Kerry, because there was many places that I wanted to take off my bucket list. So continuing on with the theme of today, drive for five minutes and then stop because there's an amazing viewpoint. I'm at another amazing viewpoint. So I was actually just driving to the next destination when I noticed Skellig Michael off in the distance. I haven't been able to see it at all yet today, just because it's so hazy when you look out onto the um, horizon. Yeah, horizon, that's the word. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can see it off in the distance and this view is insane looking, so I had to stop. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera on the phone. I'm gonna give it a good zoom in. So the next stop of the day is the Kerry Cliffs. These have been on my bucket list for the longest time, so I'm so excited to go in. It was four euro for entry, which isn't too bad compared to like other attractions in Ireland. So just here at the Cliffs of Kerry, there's examples of the beehive huts that do be on Skellig Michael. Pretty cool. I didn't know this was going to be here. This has made me all excited. So at the cliffs, there's like this complete cliff walk. You can come all the way up. That is actually a very misleading hill. It's actually quite steep. And then you get over here and you have this insane view. So cool. I'm going to go up here now. So I drove onto Valentina Island and I'm going to Fogher Cliffs, I wanna say. Um, and it's five euro in, so hopefully it's worth it. And you have an option that you can either walk around or there's car parks as you go. I think there's four car parks in total. Um, I opted in to drive just because I'm actually staying in Trilly tonight and I think I'm an hour and a half away and the sun is gonna set in an hour and a half. So I didn't time this all too well, but I wanted to see them, so. I am on my way back to Tralee now. The sunset was amazing tonight. It was so beautiful just to drive along and just enjoy the beautiful colors go across the sky. Fortunately, I didn't get any footage of it because yeah, I'm driving and unfortunately I have no one with me in the car this time. So for the next few days, I have a few days off, no camera, no drone, but I'm going exploring around Kerry with these guys. Jessica and Kyle, they're like my best friends since we were little, little tots. 
Um, and I'm gonna just have a few clips here showing you what we get up to. Nothing too major, but I'll have little like notifications or little like tags on each place that we are. As you can guess, we started the day off in Killarney National Park and we literally got the best weather. Couldn't have asked for a sunnier, more clear day. We stopped off in a town called Sneem before arriving at this place. This is Gleesk Pier. It's somewhere Jessica used to explore when she was a little kid and it's honestly one of the best little hidden gems they have here in Kerry. I fell in love with it and honestly felt like I was in paradise. It's also home to one of Ireland's only coral beaches, which is pretty cool, and it's just an overall great place to visit. We then continued driving down the Ring of Kerry, and like the day previous, stopped every five minutes at a beautiful viewpoint before making our way to Ross Beg Beach. Here we went for a swim, and a very quick swim for that matter, because there were so many jellyfish in the water, and sadly, myself and Jessica are terrified. <laughs> Either way, it was a beautiful beach, and I really enjoyed my time walking along it. The next morning we woke up and behaved like little kids by going water trampolining. It was so fun, it felt so good to not have a care in the world and just push each other off every five minutes and just have an overall good time. So if you're in Kerry and you're looking for something a little bit different to do, I definitely recommend checking it out. After the water trampolining, I went on a little solo explorer because there was two other places that I wanted to take off my bucket list. So the next stop of the evening is Bromore Cliffs. This is kind of the reason why I headed out in this direction because I really wanted to see them. It was actually five euro in. I didn't know that when I looked it up in line and it's not as known or as done, I suppose. It is known, but it's not as done because it's not in those typical places in Kerry like Killarney or Dingle. So the walk around the cliffs takes about 30 minutes, it's not too bad, it's completely flat terrain, really suitable for anybody or any fitness level. Um, the only thing I will say, they're absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy I came, but the hedges see here, like the bubble grass along the side, they're quite high up and for anyone short like me, it's actually a little bit hard to see the cliffs, like I kind of have to go up my tippy toes at points and then along the walk there's few points. Yeah, it sucks being small sometimes. I'm like five foot two and a half, three on a good day. The next stop of the evening is this gorgeous little town called Ballybunion. Um, and it's a nice place because there's a cliff walk. There's like three different beaches to choose from. There's a castle ruin, you can see it off here. It's an insane spot to watch the sunset and it's a nice little town. So it's definitely a good place to come if you're on this little Kerry road trip. Um, but I'm actually heading to Banna to catch the sunset to meet my friend. There's clouds. <laughs> I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that it'll be nice. So I made it to Banna. <laughs> Sunset just as I got here. These guys missed it. They don't have a good track record with sunset, so um, and it was beautiful. The thing is, I didn't video it because I opted into taking a picture, so I'll put it here. Um, but yeah, this is the fast spot for sunset. So today is my last day in Kerry and I'm actually really sad about it. I've had such a good time and it's kind of clear why they call it the kingdom or why it's one of the most beautiful places in Ireland, because it is. Um, and I'm going out with a bang. I'm doing the last few bits of Killarney National Park and starting with Ross's Castle. So I drove maybe another 15 minutes down the road and I'm now heading to Muckrose Abbey and then on to Muckrose House. They're on the same grounds and there's free parking on site which is very handy.
Okay, so out of all the abbeys I've been to in Ireland, this is the coolest one. I have a tree in the middle of it. Places like this I always make you wonder how small people were back in the day because I'm short and mom was touching the top. <laughs> I kept on walking and I made it to McGrath's house um, and honestly like the grounds here are just so beautiful you could spend hours just walking about 360 views of the mountains I'm just heading over to the lake now So I'm just making my way up to Twerk Waterfall now. Um, just a thing to note if you are coming to this area is the GPS did not bring me to the right place. It brought me to a hiking car park that starts like a few different loops around Twerk. Um, and yeah, so the car park is actually located on the main road of Killarney National Park. And it's well signposted. I was just out of service and went the wrong way. So just wanted to say that just in case anyone else makes a mistake like I did. You can see the waterfall off in the distance, it's literally just a five minute walk. It's I'm making my way back down to the car now. So sadly that brings us to the end of our Kerry road trip. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.